Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some timeless color combinations to wear for the fall and autumn season. These are some of the pairings that I really like to reach for and I think are very classic and timeless because they never really go out of style and they reoccur year after year. This is not an exhaustive list, rather it's some of my favourite combinations that I wear the most frequent. Let's start off with something very subtle but also one of my favourites which is pairing black, navy and brown together. In the past, it was definitely seen as a bit of a fashion mistake to pair black and navy as well as black and brown, but I really think that when you mix these three colours or even just the two colours, black and navy or black and brown together, it just creates for something that feels very stylish and chic. Black is a very chic colour, but the brown and the navy just add some warmth to it, which just feels a little bit more cosy for this time of year. My very first look is something that you've definitely seen me wear before, but I wanted to start here as my base outfit and then we'll experiment more in my following ones. Very quickly, in this outfit I'm wearing a navy striped top and then navy trousers, so pretty much navy throughout. And then I use a brown bag as well as black shoes. This outfit is incredibly neutral and to add a bit more colour, I decided to add a little silk scarf. This scarf has a bit of the blue which ties in with navy and it also has orange which ties in with brown. So I think it works perfectly with this outfit. Another colour I could add in here is burgundy. Burgundy is another one of those darker colours that I think just ties seamlessly with black, navy and brown. And really, I think these four colours can just be freely mixed in any look. As the weather gets cooler, you can also add on a coat. And I add on a brown version, which just adds a bit more of that warm tone into the outfit. In outfit number two, I switched up the navy knit for a black one instead. Instead of the orangey brown bag, I decided to go for something that was very slightly more muted. And I went for this one instead. This look is more or less the same, but I just wanted to show you that you can freely mix and match different pieces. And as long as it falls within this color palette, it will work out great. In outfit 3, I reach for a blazer. I have a black blazer worn over the top of a navy outfit. I show a lot of outfits wearing black and navy as opposed to brown, just because that's what's in my wardrobe. If you have a lot of brown, you can of course wear the brown instead. Maybe have a navy blazer over the top and then wear a black bag as an alternative to these looks. The second combination that I really love is blue and red worn together. Firstly, blue and orange, red in this case, are opposite sides of the colour wheel, so they are complementary colours that go really well together. The second thing that you can use as a guide is to pair colours of equal saturation together. So you can pair highly saturated colours with each other, and then also pair slightly more muted colours with each other. Going for bright red and bright blue is a little bit outside of my everyday comfort zone, so I decided to go for a more lightly saturated colour. I opted for this blazer from Uniqlo which has a very micro print. When you look at it, it doesn't feel that highly saturated because it is that micro print. So I decided to pair it with a medium blue wash of jean and I really like these two tones together. To finish this look off, I decided to reach for purple or burgundy accessories and it turns out this purpley burgundy shade is really the midpoint between red and blue so I just felt like these two accessories worked really well with this outfit. When it comes to these kind of colour pairings, it's not so much that I go into my wardrobe looking for these things but the more we understand about colour, these things just come naturally to us when we're putting outfits together. If you enjoy a more colourful style, you can easily go more saturated with these colours. So you can opt for a really vibrant blue as well as a vibrant orange or red and pair these two colours together for a very striking look. This leads me to my next outfit where I've gone for camel and light blue. So this is based off the orange and blue look but just something a bit more muted for the everyday. Even though this is very simple, this is probably one of my favourite looks in this video just because of how wearable it is, but still incorporating some nice colours. This is the bluest piece I own in my wardrobe and it's just a nice blue shirt and I paired it with this camel coloured bag. I paired the rest of the outfit with blue jeans and some black boots. I would have loved to have a pair of lighter brown boots to pair with this look, but realistically most people probably don't have boots in every colour and I think the black works fine as well. I wear light blue and camel so often that I don't even see them as colours sometimes, just as neutrals. But actually, the two of these paired together, I think just creates for something quite striking. I've got two variations of this outfit depending on what the weather is like, where you are. But if the weather's a little bit cooler, you can throw on a light trench coat. And I think this is my favourite. I love the lightness of that trench coat, just paired with these other softer colours. If the weather is very cold, I think a nice camel coat will go really well over a light blue shirt or a light blue sweater 
as well. The next color combination is the only one where I'm mixing different color temperatures together and it is wearing camel and grey. So camel is traditionally thought of as more of a warm shade and grey is definitely usually more of a cool shade. Although within grey you can have warmer greys as well as cooler greys. I would agree that warm and cool colours are usually a little bit harder to style together but sometimes, just sometimes, it can also work quite nicely. In my first example, the whole outfit is centered around this sweater where we've got the beige and the brown, which are definitely quite warm shades. And then we've also got this taupe shade, which is more of a warmer kind of gray shade. Finishing off this look, I started with a pair of gray trousers. I almost feel like we've got a gradient happening in this outfit where we have the warmer browns going into the taupe shades and then into a cooler gray. And I think that's one of the things that makes it easier to style cool and warm colors together when you do have something that bridges the two colors. If you've got warm colors in your wardrobe that you love and also cool colors, a great way to be able to wear them together is just to have that middle color that ties them all together. I feel like this sweater definitely did a lot of the work for me in this outfit, but Another one of my tips for mixing warm and cool, mixing gold and silver, like mixing two opposite things is to make sure that it reoccurs more than once in the outfit. Sometimes I feel like if I'm wearing an all warm outfit and then I just have one cool piece somewhere, it feels a bit mismatched. But if I have a few cool pieces thrown around, it suddenly feels more cohesive. So that's also my tip for mixing silver and gold by the way, just to have it reoccur more than once, I think makes it easier to mix opposite color temperatures together. This very next outfit is definitely one of my favorite outfits to share with you in this video and we're once again playing with cool and warm colors. The reason why I think this outfit works is because the warm tones are not too warm so the color palette still feels quite harmonious together. We're styling this black midi skirt with a silver t-shirt. The silver t-shirt is of course on the cooler side whereas the black is more of a neutral because I don't think black leans overly cool or warm by itself. For my jacket, I have on this camel blazer and this camel shade is warm but not overly so and because of that, I think that these three colors just look very harmonious together. We're kind of going off the same idea where we've got the cool shade, we've got the middle shade and then we've got the slightly warmer shade and it feels like a gradient. It just kind of blends well into each other. But the other reason that I really think this outfit works is because the warm colors don't go too warm so it still feels very balanced to wear with the cooler shades. Had this been an orange blazer for example or something incredibly warm, I do feel like it would feel a bit more out of place whereas these all stay quite close to that neutral line. As another alternative, I also throw on the trench coat and the trench coat, very similar to the blazer, is that khaki shade that is slightly warm but not overly so and I also love wearing the trench coat with this outfit. This combination is something I'm definitely going to be reaching for and one I'm super excited to wear. The next color combinations I'm talking about are all around mixing earth tones together. I wear earth tones all year round but I think specifically in the fall and autumn it is just such a beautiful shade to wear. The idea around earth tones is that they will all go really well together because it's what we see around nature and of course the colors that we see like trees, the sky, the sun, they all work really well together and of course they don't clash. It's also the color combinations our eye is really used to seeing and therefore feels natural. These colors tend to fall on the slightly warmer side because earth tones always have a bit of brown in them. You can have the traditional earth tone colors that I immediately think of, like your ochres, your browns, your rust, but you can also have blues with a bit more brown in them and those are earth tones as well. We're gonna start with this color, which is a brown red shade, which I always associate with the color of soil. I sometimes find that this color can be a little bit hard to style with other colors in my wardrobe. So I decided to go quite simple and just style it with the black midi skirt that I'm wearing. This is a very muted look where we've just got this one beautiful earth tone that kind of steals the show and then everything else is basically just complementing this color. For the shoes, I first decided to go for the burgundy boots because the two colors are very similar and I like how they tie in together. But once I put it on, I realized that the shades were just ever so slightly different. When two colors are quite similar but there's a different undertone, I sometimes don't like how they pair together. It almost looks like I just tried a little bit too hard to match them, but they don't really match. So instead I opted for black boots instead, which I feel like just looks a bit more natural 
and actually looks better than trying to match my shoes to the sweater. In my next outfit, I'm styling this sweater and I wear it with a pair of khaki trousers. So this kind of boxier white outfit is something that I would love to wear with strappy sandals. I know that in the climate I live in, it's perfectly acceptable to wear strappy sandals well into fall because it doesn't get that cold. But if you do live somewhere very cold, you can also opt for boots. I often like how a strappy sandal juxtaposes an outfit that is super wide and has a lot of material. I like the contrast. But you can definitely also wear it with boots like I did in the second alternative. This outfit is a very colourful one where we've pretty much got all the traditional four colours in one outfit. We've got the really warm brown, we've got the burgundy, the khaki, the mix of warm and neutrals and it just feels super cosy to look at. Next up, I pretty much reverse this colour combination and instead of khaki trousers, I reach for a khaki sweater and I tuck it into a pair of cream coloured trousers. In this outfit, I really like that when I look at it as a whole, I see three things. And this idea of three can apply to colour and it can also just apply to how many things our eye sees in an outfit. When I look at this outfit as a whole, I firstly see the khaki knit, the brown bag as well as the burgundy shoes and the cream colour kind of just disappears into the background. The rule of three is something that I often employ. I don't take it too seriously, so if I have more colours than that, I think that's perfectly okay. But if I'm ever stuck on something and something doesn't look quite right, I often like to take away elements or put on elements until I get to three colours or three things that my eye sees when I'm looking at the outfit as a whole. As an alternative, I throw on the khaki trench coat over the outfit and I do enjoy mixing these different khaki shades together. The last colour palette I'm talking about today are jewel tones. Different to earth tones, jewel tones are usually highly saturated, bold colours that are based off of jewels. So sapphires, rubies, emeralds, those really saturated stones is what this colour palette is based off. When jewel tones are mixed together, it can create for a very bold and striking look, which is so beautiful. But for my everyday style, I try to mix jewel tones in with more neutrals to make it more wearable. First up, I want to style this jacket. This jacket is something I purchased pretty love from Vestia last year. This jacket is such a statement piece, but I love that it's got those jewel tones on it already. On this jacket, we've got some of that blue that reminds me of a sapphire blue. We've got some red and burgundy magenta colours that also just reminds me of the deeper colours that I associate with jewel tones. More often than not, I just style this with black to create a very simple look because this is such a statement that if I was to wear it with other pieces, it would be a bit much for my everyday kind of looks. An added bonus of wearing it with the skirt is that the skirt has a shiny kind of fabric and I think that really complements any kind of jewel tone. Which is why you'll see me style this skirt a lot in this category. These two sweaters in my wardrobe most reminds me of a jewel tone. So I've got this purple shade and I've got this green shade. And these are the two that I'll style in the next outfit. Similar to this jacket with the purple knit, I just styled the black skirt. And I find that as much as I love this purple knit, as expected, it's not the most versatile. So I do always just style it with black or with navy. One thing I really like to bring out that jewel tone effect is to pair that knit with something a bit more shiny, like the skirt that I'm wearing. And I love how these different textures just create something that feels a bit more elegant and striking than if I was to just wear it with jeans. With the green knit, I wanted to show you how you can incorporate it into everyday looks and approach it in a more subtle way. So with the skirt, I also threw on the black blazer so you can only see a little bit of that green popping through and I think it makes it a lot more wearable and also very practical for this time of year as the weather gets cooler. My last outfit is probably my favourite jewel tone combination. It did take me a while to come up with something that I was completely happy with, which is this outfit. And this is the most wearable for my style. For this outfit, I wear a navy merino knit and I pair this navy silk dress over the top. I really like that this dress is of course made from silk, so it has that sheen to it which matches the jewel tone colour really well. On top of that, I wear a green bag and the green is the perfect emerald green jewel tone and I really love that about this bag. On my shoe, I wear the burgundy boots and it definitely reminds me a little bit of like a deeper redstone maybe something like a garnet, and I think that these three colours just look so nice together. To make this outfit feel a bit more classic and wearable, I throw on a trench over the top, which I think helps tie everything together and make things feel a bit more muted. Those are all of my favourite timeless colour combinations to wear for fall and autumn. I was definitely focusing more on classic combinations in this video. If you'd like to see some bolder colour choices, 
I would be happy to do that as well, just let me know. Before we finish off on this video today, I actually have a question for you guys. For future videos like this, would you prefer to see me talk through all of my outfits like I did in this video? Or would you prefer it just against some music in a quicker kind of pace? I would be super curious to know. It obviously doesn't make too much of a difference to me, I would be happy to film it either way. It's more about what you guys would be most interested in seeing. If you guys enjoyed this video, got some inspiration, found it helpful, I would love for you to go hit the like button down below, and I will see you next week. Bye.